For Anita Sarkeesian, this is the new normal. Armed escorts at public events, bomb threats, even death threats. So this is something that comes through the contact form on my website. These are tweets threatening a convention that I was at. This word legitimate threat, who is thinking about what is legitimate? If a company says we want to make this a safe space and a user says this is not feeling safe and the company comes back and says oh you're exaggerating, that's not good. I can't even go outside and show my face to the world anymore. I can't go to school, I can't go to work because somebody has already seen me in the way that I don't want to be seen. Every time I give out my name, I know that I'm about to be judged because I know eventually they're going to Google me and they're going to see what's there and then they're going to judge me. They need to state their policy. They need to also inform the uploaders that they do not accept revenge porn. We're having conversations about civil rights today that are long overdue that mirror the conversations we're having about online spaces. I'm black and I'm a woman and there's no reason why that should make me less able to speak my voice and able to be heard. Women are losing out in every sense when it comes to the laws that we have to protect privacy, to protect against harassment. New York doesn't have a revenge porn law because our politicians are doing nothing about it. This was not what the First Amendment was about. And I'm willing to go in and try to fight anyone saying that it is. <laughs> Can we get a picture with Please. you? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Well, how do you know yeah, Boy? You too. Oh, cool. Yeah. You watch my videos? Yeah. What I couldn't say is I'm angry. I'm angry that we live in a society where online harassment is tolerated, accepted, and excused. In all the different, messy, honest ways that we respond to harassment, we actually demonstrate how much humanity we all still have in the face of such cruelty and injustice.